All right, Lex. So, New Balance Nationals, what made you come out this time around? Last year it was the four by mile, this time around you're running the 5K. Yeah, well, the season got a little bit of a late start, but I saw the opportunity to hit a fast 5K on the indoor track and I thought, you know, why not just go for it? It should be fun. It's The record is within reach, so it should be a fast race and I see this as a good option to open up the season. The record, it, it, it's slower than your PR outdoors, right? So that's got to give you quite a bit of confidence. Definitely. I know that indoors is typically supposed to be a little slower, but you know, I've run almost, like I'd say like 15 seconds faster outdoors than the record. So I think it's it's definitely within reach. I, the, the other thing that worries me is that I've been injured for most of December, so it's like, I know I should be able to do it, but it's also a little bit of a test of my fitness right now because we've hit like maybe three or four workouts, so I know I'm fit, but it's just a matter of how fit. So hopefully it, it happens, but either way, I'm giving everything I got and I'll come across with the time I'm proud of. Yeah, take us back to December because when you got hurt, what exactly was the injury? Because then, you know, you took some time off, came back, ran at uh, USATF, yeah. U, the U-20 championship, and like your interview afterwards went viral because it was sort of like you were pretty happy about that performance because all things considered, like that was a plus for you given how little you had run. Oh, totally. That was one of those moments where I saw like just how much like looking things in perspective can do. You know, I, I had going back to December. So I got injured building up after NXN, getting ready for the for the 8K, the cross champ. So it was it was rough, you know, because I'm like, oh, I'm stoked for this next race. And then boom, I got injured. And then I was out for maybe a week and a half, started building up again, thinking it's, oh, I'm, I'm back. I'm ready. I got one tempo in and then another injury hit me. I was at that point, I was like, oh, come on, you know, like, just let me run, you know, because you're like coming off of a bad race at NXN. And all you want to do is just get back on that horse and just keep going, you know. So it was a little demoralizing, but I got through it, and I think it was a week and a half before uh, before the the champion the championship the U twenties that I was able to start running again. So on my watch, like my training log, going up into that race, I think I had twenty five miles on my legs. So it was not ideal. You know, I hadn't done a workout. The fastest thing I did did was a run where in the middle of it I just dropped like a four forty mile to see what I could do, and it was like it was. Just, like, I, I knew I was fit, but I didn't know how I fit. So then the race, I got 12th. I was stoked on that because it was fitter than I thought I was. And then since then, I've just been grinding workouts. It's been tough because, you know, you're just building back up. It's like starting summer training again, you know. But it's every workout gets faster and faster, more rewarding. And now I'm just here to see kind of as a benchmark of where I'm at so far and how much more I got to go before I'm really ready to, like, hit some crazy times at the end of the season. Because ultimately, it's like... It's only March, you know. We I've got all the way till like July or June. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna race in July, so June. <laughs> yeah. You went out to Australia to support your brother, and like we're you know chronicling everything on the vlog. Uh, I guess what made you want to take the trip and be there? Because it's like some athletes would find that pretty painful, but you decided to be like number one support crew out there. Yeah, for me, it's like, if I'm not racing, I want to be there supporting. And initially, I wasn't going to go, but then HG Runners, Adrian, the creative director, he hit me a DM and was like, do you want to go and film with us? And I was thinking, like, is this even real? Like, obviously, <laughs> yeah. So then we figured it all out. We booked it. It was uh, logistically a little difficult, but we got it to work out. And it was just like, you know, if I have the opportunity to go there and shoot and, and make this story and help support Leo, I'm going to do it. Because even though it's a 15-hour flight, I get to see a new nation. I get to experience a new culture and watch some crazy races. So it was like, and I think Leo was glad that I was there to cheer him on. So it, even though I wasn't getting to race, it still felt pretty darn awesome to watch. So people know you, of course, as a runner, but I'm kind of curious through the content creator side of things. Like how much time, like how did you teach yourself like the editing and like how much do you handle behind the scenes? Do you like that kind of side of things? Oh, absolutely. You know, the people know LNL as a running YouTube channel. In reality, that's not where it started. We started LNL back in 2016 and it was just like, we were fascinated by cameras, by editing, and we wanted an outlet to put our stuff. So we started LNL. We were like, now we can make videos and we have ex an excuse to put this stuff out there. So we started just doing like random little things, vlogging our mountain bike rides or like going surfing with our friends, you know, just whatever little adventures middle schoolers go on. That's what we were filming and it was fun. I really enjoyed it. And the biggest thing was like the whole technical aspect. We really liked just 
you know, obsessing over the the cinematography and the different angles. And I know it's not like, you know, we're not shooting a, a big box, you know, picture out there. But, like, I think we do a good job with the quality considering our operation. And it's just, like, we take a lot of pride in that because there's not, there, there's a lot of YouTube channels out there, but there's not a lot like us where we're, it's the athlete itself making the content and producing it. So for me, it's like the filming is almost as important as like what the content is actually itself. Like we, we take a lot of pride in how we produce it. If you ever want an internship with us, like we'll, we'll give it to you, no problem. So this weekend in particular, like there's just so much going on at New Balance Nationals. What are you looking forward to the most? Like it could be on the track, it could be off the track, the people around you, like what, 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 what are you taking in this time around? I got a lot of things I'm looking forward to. I'd be lying if I said that my race wasn't one of the biggest things because, you know, it's going to be a great opportunity to see where my fitness is. But I'm really stoked to watch my teammates go. They've got, there's a lot of good races, great opportunities for these guys because it's, you know, it's rare that you get this much competition in one area. So we're very much excited for that. Another big thing is uh, I've got family that lives just outside of Boston and I haven't seen them since like, I was a freshman in high school, so they're gonna come out and watch, so I get to see them. That's another thing I'm pretty excited for. And just like, other than that, it's just like experiencing uh, just the city of Boston, because it's been so long. Like, run, I ran eight miles on the Charles River this morning. It was beautiful, saw Harvard. Like, it's just, just experiencing the whole trip. You know, you don't, you never get the same experience twice. You gotta really let it sit in. I remember last year when we sat down with you at the Armory for a lot of the guys on the Newbury Park team, it was like the first time that they had ever stepped on an indoor track. Is it still a little weird for you to be running on indoors? <laughs> Oh yeah, living in California, you know, this is only my third time, so it still feels weird, you know, going around the banks, but I think given the fact that, like, I've got uh, a history in mountain biking, like, going around the berms, it feels natural, it's something that, like, I really like, you know, it going a little bit sideways around it just feels so good, there's something, like, about just, it makes you feel fast, especially this morning when I was doing uh, my strides after my run, it was such a crowded track, but kind of, like, cutting it up through the people as you're doing the stride. I mean, it was a little chaotic, I'm not gonna lie, but it was, uh, it, it makes you feel really fast. Just just the size of it, you know, all of a sudden one lap is only 200 meters. You feel, it's it's so cool. Outdoor's awesome, but indoor's got its own charm. You're gonna be doing a lot of, I just realized there's like with the pace that you're gonna be going at, you're gonna be doing a lot of work up in the front by yourself solo. I mean, you might have the lights kind of guiding you, but are you ready for that? Yeah, I think it's gonna be, it, it, it's gonna be a good race. We got, I know we got um, me and a couple other athletes that all really want to hit the pace. And there's been some talk about how to set the pace, where to set it. And I know some of the guys wanted it set pretty darn fast. So it makes me think that, you know, they also want the pace to be fast. So I might not even have to pace all of it. We'll see. I think that having multiple guys at it, we can kind of split up the workload and just let it work for the group in, uh, in a better sense. But it's, yeah, pacing is tough sometimes when you have to do it all. I've learned that a lot in uh, this past cross-country season. When are we going to see you in the mile? The mile, that's going to be, I, I like to think, you know, there's a lot of talk about the chase for sub four and all that. And there's uh, a Sidious Mag, that's, uh, an article that's going to come out. And, yeah, it came out today. Oh, it did? Okay, yeah. that was an awesome article. And one thing I said was, for me, looking at sub four, it's more of like a, a consolation prize, you know? I do my 5K, I get all, you know, I'm trying to get the longer distance stuff this season, primarily, the 5K, the two mile. And then at the end, once with the extra time, that bonus time, I wanna just cut down to the mile and see how low I can go. And sub four is not necessarily the goal, it's just how low. I ran 401 last year, so I have no doubt it's in the cards. It's more just about like getting some really fast races in and it's, the mile's a great race. I'll, you'll definitely see me one in the end of the season. Awesome. Well, we're wishing you best of luck this weekend here at uh, New Balance Nationals. Thank you. Thank you for having me.